Hey guys. Okay, this is another a uh, couple more experiences after. This one is in the winter time. It was me. So me and my sister are now UFO freaks. We're hanging out and we have another friend. My sister has a friend who's a UFO freak. And we all have experiences. They don't tell me their experiences, but we all talk about it, the spiritual stuff. Anyway. We're we're talking anyway. Um, we're all communicating or stuff that happened. You know, I never really told her. I actually never told anyone about the face-to-face -face contacts, even my sister. Just that one time, I never told her about the fucking five hundred other times this happened in my life. But anyway, this is in the winter time in Chatham, Ontario, right around the same time but this is the winter anyway I, i'm at home it's the winter time and there's a snowstorm going on a bad snowstorm and um we're in the house me and my sister and um it's a bad snowstorm going on. all of a sudden we hear the door open and our friend my sister's friend my friend well, she more or less, I met her through my sister. And she comes in and she's freaking out. She goes, you ain't gonna fucking believe what happened to me. You ain't gonna fucking believe what happened to me. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? What happened? What happened? She goes, I was walking from downtown and I take a shortcut down the road tracks to your guy's house. Right? This is what she, she she's panicking. Like she's white as a ghost, covered from head to toe in toques and mittens and scarves and big winter jacket in a snowstorm covering the snow and she's freaking out and she's like white as a ghost and her eyes are just cold dead and I'm like what the fuck happened to you man and she goes I'll tell you she goes I'll tell you so about five minutes she gets her clothes off and everything and she's getting it all together and she 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 comes downstairs into my room and we're talking and uh, I go what happened because I don't think my sister, my sister was doing something. So she talks, she was talking to me first. And I go, oh, what happened, Tommy? She goes, I was walking back from downtown, down the road tracks in the, in the blizzard. She goes, I'm freezing my ass off. And she goes, I was, I was just about two door, two proper, two houses away from your house. I, um, I, and I can't see. It's a whiteout. She goes, it's a whiteout. I can't see fucking 50 yards in front of me, right? And I go, yeah, yeah, I know it. And she goes, well, I was walking on the railroad tracks. And she goes, I just happened to look up in front of me. And a fucking freight, fucking passenger train came out of the, out of the whiteout. And she goes, I looked and there was a train appeared in the a fucking passenger train a via rail. Up here, right in front of the snow, about 50 yards, in, or not even 50, she goes, like 20 yards in front of me, or less, 15 yards. And she goes, I barely had time to jump. She goes, I just jumped, because I was dead if I didn't jump. She goes, I jumped, and as my feet were in the air, the train went by. And then she goes, I rolled down the side of the railroad tracks to where the creek is. It's about a 10-foot angle going down to a creek she goes I rolled and stumbled down to the creek and then ended up in the creek or in the in the not in the creek it's just a little tiny creek she goes I landed up there she goes I'm laying there I rolled over my I was my face was in the snow she goes I rolled over and I'm like I can't fucking believe and she looked up in the sky she was laying on her back looking at the sky having a near-death experience, almost getting hit by a train, and she goes, I fucking saw a UFO over the top of the tree, slowly going up into an angle until it disappeared into the, into the whiteout of the snow. And she goes, it was big. It was big. It was huge. It was above the tree. And she goes, for some reason... I looked up 
at the last second to see the train. And he goes, she goes, I think the the aliens did it. <laughs> she goes, she goes, I didn't look up because the snow was blasting my eyeballs. It was cold, and I was like looking down like this with the with my hat. She goes, for some reason I just went like that, and the train was there, and I jumped. And she goes, I rolled down, I looked up at the tree, and a UFO was flying away in the snowstorm, blizzard. Okay, and I'm like, holy fuck, they just saved your life. She goes, I know, I could have died. She started crying and everything, I'm hugging her. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. I go, fucking, I go, they fucking did. They fucking saved your life, man. She goes, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean you think so? She goes, I didn't look. She goes, for about... For all the streets, I, I was on the tracks for about a half an hour, and I didn't look up once. I'm just walking down the road tracks because it was so cold. And at the one moment, I looked up, and the fucking train came out of the snow, out of the whiteout. And I'm like, holy fuck. So she's crying. I'm crying. I'm hugging her, kissing her all back. <laughs> she's freaking out. <laughs> Jesus. I'm like, you saw a UFO? She goes, it was right above the big... Right above one of them old elm trees. And it, I could see the elm tree and then the UFO above it. And it flew out from over top of the tree and slowly went up into the whiteout and disappeared. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, wow, that's something, man. She goes, yeah, I know. I go, yeah. I just sat there and consoled her for a long time. And that was weird, man. She goes, yep. She goes, well, we'll tell your sister now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm so glad you looked up. I'm like, thank the aliens, man. Holy shit. She goes, it was huge, Rich. She goes, it was huge. It was huge. It was disc. It was a disc-shaped craft. She said it was a proper disc, like metal disc. Round. She saw the bottom of it with a hole in the bottom. And it was like a lighter gray color or something. But she couldn't really see it too, like, detailed, but because of the snow and almost getting hit by the train, stumbling down the creek. But she said she looked at it and she watched it. She tracked it with her eyeballs and it disappeared into the snow. And I go on, that's a UFO, man. <laughs> she goes, yep. And I'm like, oh, this is like, two doors away from my house and she was coming to my house and she's our friend and oh, there you go so I wasn't the only one being affected that all this time so that's my sister and my friend and my other friend that are involved awesome stuff awesome anyway so that's another experience Um, here's another one. It was the summertime. It's just a little one. I can add it here. It was the summertime. About 10 o'clock. And my sister's friend, the same one that I just talked about, she lived across a whole bunch of cornfields. From my house, you can see her house almost. But there's trees in the way, right? But there's a big cornfield, and then there's her house, and it's just on the other side of the 401. Anyway, her, my sister was at her house spending the night, and they called me on the phone and goes, there's UFOs, there's UFOs flying around. So she goes, go outside and look, see if you can see them. And it's, she, said, she said there were little UFO lights flying around the cornfields, racing across the top of the cornfields. At, on her side of the 401. And I'm like, well, I, I'm on this side of the 401, like, fucking damn near 10 clicks, clicks away from you. <clears throat> uh, click is a kilometer. <laughs> Nowadays, we used to be miles. But anyway, so, uh, so anyway, oh, I'll run up and check. I'll see what I can see. So I ran up there, and they're saying, they're, they're on the phone with me going, I see it right now. I'm looking at it. We're looking at it. Go up. So I had to go up on the roof. And I always had a ladder on the roof because I used to sit out there all night and just 
look. And um, so I ran up on the roof and I'm looking and I couldn't see nothing. I was looking there. I, I sat there for an hour looking. So I came back down and told them I didn't see nothing, guys. And they're like, God damn. It was, there was like a bunch of them like flying around real fast above the cornfields. They couldn't believe it. And they were both watching it. And there were no cars and there's nothing out in the cornfields. And there was no corn on the field, so there's no corn in the field. It was just dirt, right? Flat dirt for as I can see. And she said they were flying around above the dirt of the cornfield. And that was another UFO sighting they had. But I never saw nothing. So that was pretty cool. And they were freaked out. They said they sat up all night and they said they couldn't deal with it anymore. So... Uh, that was another little uh, tidbit. Hold on.